Um, okay, thank you, Vinia. The report aims to explain the systemic uh, massacre of Amaras in the Oromia region um, as, in fact, being a genocide under international law. It looks at the 1948 Genocide Convention, uh, the Roman Statute on um, Genocide, and other international tribunals of countries um, that, and they, it takes those parameters to analyze the facts on the ground in Oromia um, and classifies it as a genocide. It also looks at the 10 phases of genocide proposed by Genocide Watch um, and looks at every single stage, discusses and looks at the grounds in uh, the facts on the ground in Oromia um, and compares it to the 10 phases of genocide um, proposed by the Genocide Watch. Um, the report starts by giving a brief political um, history of Ethiopia. It traces anti-Amhara narratives or like the perceived Amhara hegemony back to the 1960 student movement mm -hmm. and proceeds to um, mention and discuss the organization of the TPLF and the OLF in the early 19, mid early 1970s. Uh, being completely centered around the anti-Amhara narratives, um, as mentioned in their manifesto. It proceeds to mentioning um, how anti-Amhara, the anti-Amhara narrative was codified in our constitution um, after the TPLF led EPRDF came to power and the new constitution was proposed in 1995. Um, and throughout these um, explanations, it has specific incident reports from back to 1991 till currently 2022, mm -hmm. uh, where Amaras have been subject to ethnically targeted uh, massacres. Uh, it mentions how in as early as 1991 to 1993, um, thousands of Amharas were murdered in East and West Harage and IC, um hundreds of thousands were displaced from that region. Between 1994 and 2015, about 10,000 Amaras uh, have been murdered in um, Oromia in general. Um, there's a, the report is organized in two parts. The first part looks at the 10 phases of genocide. Mm -hmm. um, it classifies the first part, which is classification. It mentions how Amharas are classified exclusively as Amharas, uh, not as Amara women, not as uh, Amara Christians, Amara Muslims, but just Amharas um, and how kids, um, infants as old as like a few days old are classified as Amharas. Um, and they are in return um, subjected to the genocide. Um, it talks about symbolization in Ethiopian culture. Um, which is also a phase of uh, genocide. It talks of, it gives specific examples like the use of the word neftenya as a slur um, and history exclusively given to Amharas. Um, it talks about how Ethiopian Orthodox is um, used as a symbol for Amharas and even non-Amara um, Ethiopian Orthodox members are massacred at, um, during these massacres and they are exclusively called Amharas. Um, even though um, it's not the truth. Um, another one is love for Ethiopia. There's a lot of other nations that are called like Neftenga puppies or um, sympathizers of Neftenga simply for demonstrating like a love uh, for Ethiopia and, and so forth. So it goes through all of the stages of the genocide, including like prosecution, extermination, um, in terms of like our organization, um, in terms of organization, um, one thing we can mention and what we've reported repeatedly reported in our um, AAA reports is the organized aspect of the massacres in Oromia region. Uh, the massacres are premeditated um, right before and like earlier um, in 2021, right before the OLF attack a Kabale, uh, the Oromia special forces evacuate the Kabale, start evacuating. Even um, civilians have identified this pattern and there have been instances where civilians have begged the OSF not to leave mm. um, the area. Um, and it talks about during an attack after the OSF um, evacuates and the OLF like attack or Kabale, there's the, even the OLF themselves are organized in three stages. Uh, one that does like mass massacres, one that goes house to houses, and then uh, 
one that's like relatively less armed that go with machetes that go off um, making sure people that were shot are actually dead and um, they finish off the job with machetes. Um, so, and then after that, telecommunication is often shut down, which is uh, exclusively run by the state, which said just just state compliance and active participation. And in our recent reports, we have seen OSF is directly also um, taking charge of these massacres. Um, and in terms of extermination, another phase of genocide, um, in two consecutive um, censuses done nationally, two million Amparas have been missing uh, are, are unaccounted for in the census. Um, again, census done by the Oromir regional government um, is highly disputed by Amara region officials of, as to how many Amaras live in um, the area. Um, and then the second part discusses um, the formal definition of um, genocide within the current international law. Um, it talks about how genocide um, requires special intent, um, and the intent is to exterminate a nation, um, a race, an ethnicity, or a religious group as such. And it looks at all those different aspects of the definition and sees how the facts on in, um, in Oromia are actually conducive to this definition and what is in fact happening is a genocide. Mm -hmm.